Okay, I thought I'd do a, a quick video here, follow up on this mocha, tracking in mocha, doing a simple track. Um, this is uh, how to track, uh, how to do multiple tracks, uh, you know, track multiple objects in mocha and then bring it into After Effects. Um, this is uh, my Amish buggy clip, okay? This is a, a, a MOV, it's a full clip, it's, it's not the TIFF sequence like what was in, uh, um, in, in my last video. Okay, this is the full full um dot mov file okay so what i did is i did three separate tracks on this okay i did the the back the side up close and then i did the side far away um which is right here um i don't know why the image isn't showing up in there let's see here unlock you insert clip we'll just put the logo in there okay so in order to do this Okay, you, you import your your, sequ your your footage, you know, whether it's an image sequence or, or a regular, you know, movie file. Um, and then you break it down. Or say you wanted to track the buggy in a car or this or that. But, you know, it would be the same way. In this case, we're doing, you know, doing the buggy, three separate tracks on the buggy. Okay, so I started out tracking the side here first. Okay, um, down here, you can mark your import, your in point and your, your end point for the entire... Um, sequence or timeline or whatever the hell you want to call it um but you don't you, you don't use that for your individual layers okay so like i said what you do you start out with your first layer which you know i've already done this uh, i'm not going to redo it but if you, you know so this this is the um what is this? side close okay so i started out with that i tracked that from the beginning i put the uh i put the beginning point down here and then i tracked that over to um Oops, sorry about that. I moved the, uh, the marker. I shouldn't have done that. Son of a shit. Anyways, we, uh, I tracked this up until I couldn't see the side anymore. Okay, then I stopped tracking it. I named the layer, side close, and then this is where you mark your in and out points for, for that particular layer. Okay. Um, once that layer is selected, you see the in and the out points there. So, you get done with that, you know, you, you put your plane in there, get that set up, do your, uh, adjusting the track, you know, if, if you have to. Then, lock the layer, and then you can work on your next, your next layer, which in my case, was the back. So, what I did was I chose a spot where, you know, it was in full view. I set up my initial, uh, X splines, you know, went quite a ways around there. Tracked that, back to where I couldn't see it anymore. And then I marked that as the endpoint. Okay, so endpoint was frame 369. Then I went forward to my first keyframe, and I tracked forward from there, and marked the out point, which was at the end of the clip. Okay, once that's done, you got your plane in there, you got that adjusted up, you would lock that layer, and then you would go to your next layer if you had one, which in my case I did. So of course I took, I started from the end of the footage, did my explaining, tracked it back, and you can see uh, as you work on the as you work on the layers, okay, it'll show you your line here. This is where your layer, this is where your tracking starts, the blue line down here, okay, and it'll, that'll be on each layer. Here's the back side, the tracking starting right here. So you get that done, um, you know, you get everything set up the way you want, your tracking data the way you want. It. Then it's time to export the tracking, okay. So when you go to export the tracking, if you are if you're on the timeline and you're not if your timeline indicator is not on a layer okay say I, say I wanted to uh, export my my close okay that, that was the first layer well I don't have the export option here because my timeline indicator isn't in the layer the layer is highlighted in blue but as soon as you get your timeline indicator into the layer area then you have the option to export your tracking data so I export it to a file text file um, did that one then I would move up to uh, go to my backside I'm, as you can see in the timeline indicator, I'm within the tracking area, so I can export the data. If I was over here towards the beginning, I would not have the option to export the tracking data on that layer. So you get all them saved, saved to a text file. Um, then you would bring it into After Effects. Now, I've already brought this in, I've already rendered it out, uh, put images in there. For some reason, I, if anybody knows, that whenever I use a uh, PNG, it's it's not showing up. i gotta, I got to figure that out. Um... So, you would import, just like you do if you have one layer, okay? You would start your footage at the beginning, 
okay, or wherever your wherever your tracking data started on uh, in Mocha. Um, but put your footage to the beginning here. You import, you, you go to your Mocha import script. Remember, go to Mamo and down in uh, uh, it's by Mamo, but you go to AE scripts and download it. Okay, so you would you would start out with you could you can do it with whatever layer or whatever image you want to stick in there. Okay, in this case, I did this the close side first. Okay, so I put that image down in in the timeline. You would just have you would just have your your video down in your timeline. Then you would move the first image down that you want to apply the tracking data to. Put that down. You would go to your Mocha. You would import the import the uh, the file, the text file with the tracking data. In this case, it would be side view close. I would import that. Make sure that the image is selected that you want to use that you want to uh, attach to the to the to the uh, video, and then apply. You get that done. Then keep your uh, time on indicator right at the beginning of the sequence, and you would put your next image in. Make sure that's highlighted. Then you would import the the tracking data for that layer. Then you would apply it, making sure you were on the image that you wanted the tracking data applied to. So in this case, I did three. Put three three tracking data in there. I have the the file here. Um, now, as you as you watch this, okay, there's layer one that attached to the buggy. Layer two is coming. You can see it's floating in here too. I'll zoom in on this and show you in a second here. Okay, layer two is attached on the backside. Okay, now layer three is gonna attach itself right there. Okay, so if you see here, I don't know if we'll be able to see or not. Um, you can see your your other layers just floating in space because I haven't uh, you know I haven't turned the opacity down on them. Um, let me get this to start at the beginning here. It's it's pretty cool to see how it how it um, actually functions. Um, okay, so this is gonna be this is the side layer right here, the first one. One of this sliver here is either the back or the or the far side, and here's the third layer. So if you watch them as they go to stick themselves on the buggy, okay, there's one. Now number two is gonna be coming up here. Yeah, it's I think it's nope it's. Which which one is it? That oh, was that little sliver you couldn't really see. And now here, this is going to be this is layer three floating around right here. Layer one is going to be coming off right there. You see layer one floating here. Layer three attaches itself on right there. Um, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, so that's how you do uh, track multiple layers, multiple objects in Mocha, and then uh, import that into After Effects. If you got any questions or if anybody knows what the hell's going on with my PNGs, um, uh, get in touch with me. All right then, see ya.